Yep, there's a fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Let's go. Alright guys, today I am fishing a mountain river. The water right now is crystal clear, so it's gonna be difficult to catch a fish, but with a thin leader it should work out. In this river there are mostly brown trout and rainbow trout, some grayling, but very few of them, and I will try to catch one of them. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first I'm going to be fishing this quite big nymph, just to get down to the fish in this deep pool. Alright, that's the nymph. I tied it on with a loop knot just so it has more movement in the water. So what I'm going to do here is I'll slowly retrieve the nymph just to have good contact and to feel if a fish bites because there's basically no current in this area. Well, let's see. I'm quite far down so the fish which are standing deep should be able to see the nymph. Oh no, I had a fish on. It also felt like a quite big fish, so that's really annoying. There's a fish. Yes. Oh, it's a very small fish. Very small brown trout, but a beautiful one. Wow, look at this fish. What a beauty. Wow. Look at that fish! Inhaled the nymph! What a beauty! I'm going to let her go. Bye bye! Alright, first fish is caught. Even though she was a small one, I'm quite happy to have caught her. Oh, there's another one. Next cast! <laughs> Same size! Oh, she's jumping! <laughs> Wow, same exact size. There she is. A little bit bigger than the last one. And also inhaled the nymph. So there's the nymph out. Barbless hook, really easy. And I'm gonna let her go. Bye bye. Another native trout. Very nice. They seem to be standing on, on the edge here. So I'm just gonna try fishing this area. There's a fish. Oh, that's a better one. <laughs> also a native one. They are so energetic. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's a stone. <laughs> As you can probably see, the water here is very calm. That's why I'm trying to spot a fish here, because you can look into the water very well. So yeah, let's see if there's a fish here. <laughs> so another single fish here, but I will try to catch one out of this of the, out of these branches. Oh no, I had a bite. Oh shit. Oh man. Missed it.
Well, I really don't know where the trout are at. Right now I've tried it with a black bully bugger, but even this one they won't take. And it seems like there are no fish here, honestly. I had like two or three bites, saw no fish, <laughs> so that's not very much for this river, but we'll keep on fishing. Oh yeah, there's one. Another not too big fish. But at least it's a fish. <laughs> very nice fish. Also not too big. But very nice brown trout. I think this is another... I think this is another native one, honestly. Alright, bye bye. <laughs> I had no chance seeing the trout I just caught. She blended in perfectly with the bottom, so I had no chance in seeing her. But that's why I'm using a streamer here, because this stretch is quite wide. So if you use a nymph, you have to do way more costs. And with the streamer, you can just easily fish the whole area. Oh, fish following. Oh, well, that's a good trout. No, she didn't take it. That was a good one, maybe this time. Oh yeah, there she is again. Oh wow, that's a good fish. Take it, please. Please take it. Oh no, she didn't even follow anymore. Let's hope she takes it on this one. I'm gonna sink it, let it sink down a bit more. Mm, I think she... No, I think she saw me or something. Oh, there she is. Oh no, she missed it. Yep. Oh no, it's a smaller fish. Very nice. It's a smaller fish, but it's a fish. <laughs> That's the biggest one yet. Look at those red dots. What a beauty of a fish. and she inhaled this wooly bugger. And a few meters downstream of me, there is a fish rising quite frequently. So I'm gonna tie on a small atoms, maybe, and try to catch this one. I would be really pleasantly surprised if this works out. So that's the fly I'm gonna be using now. All right, that one's not really having it. So let's try the one further up, but I don't really know where she is. Alright, that doesn't really seem to work, so I'm gonna tie on the black woolly bugger once again. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's one big ass mayfly. Oh my god. Do you see that thing? It's huge. I have never seen mayflies at this river. So there's a fish rising between these two trees. And I'm not allowed to go on the island because of birds breeding there. So I have to basically fish downstreams, which is not easy with a dry fly, but I'm gonna try it. And this time I'm actually gonna use an Adams. So yeah, let's get into it. scared her off with the first cast already. There was a fish. Yep, there he is. Oh no! That was the first proper trout. Ah, uh, first cast actually. <laughs> oh, 
But there's one. Let's go. Oh, what is up? Ah, that can't be true. Look at that. The hook is perfectly sharp. I don't know why I keep losing fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Let's go. And I got that one. Oh, let's go. That one is not coming off. I can tell you that. It's a strong fish. Another brown trout. Not one single rainbow today. That's awesome. It's not that big of a fish, but it's very healthy. And very strong. And there's another one. Just rising there. What a beautiful what a beautiful brown trout. Got her. Just look at that beauty of a fish. Look at that fish. What a beauty. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, that's it for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed as much as I did because, wow, catching these native brown trout is just, that's just another level of fly fishing. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel for more fly fishing content like this. And I will see you next week. Take care, goodbye.